guys is I have a CVT preloaded enclosure sitting on the floor here. We have it wired up to a 2400 watt, KX 2400 watt amplifier. So we got plenty of power here. Power is not an issue. We can do whatever we want with it. And then we have the audio control DMRTA sitting here. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed a tone into the amplifier. The amplifier is going to pass that tone down to the speaker. And when I bring it up on the screen here, we actually have a microphone sitting on the floor. And the audio control RTA is going to pick up the response of that woofer playing that tone sitting there on the floor. And the way we've got it sitting now is, is what's called unloaded, just sitting there woofer firing forward, which should be very reminiscent of how you see a lot of loaded subwoofer enclosures that are on the market today. It's just an enclosure, the woofer sitting on the face, and it fires out into the airspace of the vehicle. So we're going to show the response of it in that configuration, and all we're going to do is we're going to flip it on its, on its bottom, let it sit like it should, and we're going to see what happens to the response curve. And I think you're going to find it very interesting, and it'll probably open up a lot of cool conversations in the dialogue feed. But what we've got is I'm now playing a 39 hertz tone, uh, a sine wave, and I'm playing it through the KXA2400 down into that CVT enclosure. And the microphone, this is the response curve that that microphone is picking up. So I hope that this gives you an idea of what's happening in this large room as far as bass response. You can see it's playing down well below 25 hertz, and as it comes up, it rises in frequency because I'm playing a 40 hertz tone. That's obviously going to be the strongest frequency. And it climbs up, and you can see at 40 hertz it peaks, and then it rolls back down the other side. And you can see that at this configuration, and I'm going to adjust the volume volume here a little bit to try to, maybe I need to be right there, that's pretty close. You can see that we're roughly, the peak is roughly right there about five, uh, plus five dB over the zero scale. And that's with the woofer sitting just up, not downward firing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk around the bench here so that you guys can see this. And I don't know which camera Ernie is going to use and how he's going to do this, so I'll leave it up to him, but I'm going to kneel down here. And as you can see, are you ready for me to flip it, Ernie? You ready to go? Okay, so I'm going to flip the subwoofer enclosure, and as I do, I want you to see what happens to the output at 40 hertz. And as you can see, by flipping the enclosure down and letting it load into the floor, which is the same thing that's gonna happen in your car, notice how much more bass output there is at that peak we're playing that 40 hertz tone at. And so to give you an idea, there it is. I'm gonna roll the enclosure back up. And you can see it fall down. And I'm gonna do it one more time, I'll roll it. And you can see how much more output there is. There's probably, looks like there's even more output that's off the charts. I'll need to probably adjust the RTA. Bring the mic down just a little bit so you can see it all on the chart there. But you can see there's significantly more output when the enclosure is loaded into there we got it. I'm going to come back. Oh, sorry, Ernie. I'll go back. My bad. You can see that there's significantly more output with that enclosure loading into the floor.